Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. This one is going to be on how I get the final finishing done before I'm ready to assemble my guitar. As you can see here, the guitar has already been painted and clear coated. It's got about four coats of clear on it, I believe. And I'm going to be sanding it down and getting it ready to be polished. And I'm going to show you what all I use to do that with here in just a second. Because I'm going to do the same thing that I do to the body to all these parts right here. I've got my headstock. It's going to need to be polished. The backing plate that covers the springs in the back going to be polished and also painting the neck plate with this same paint right here that I got it is called the Black Knight Metallic thought it would look really good with that charcoal gray and as you can see these have been painted and cleared And I'll show you what I use to sand them down before I polish it. I wet sand everything. I know a lot of people say don't wet sand the guitar because it's water. But you just don't, don't soak the guitar down. You just soak your paper and then, you know, just kind of wring it out before you use it. If your guitar does, if your guitar body does get too wet, you can use a, some compressed air and blow it out. And make sure there's no, water stays in the holes but right now i'm showing you all the sand sanding steps that i went through starting with the 800 to 1000 1500 and then we got 2000 right here and it's my newest product that i found which works really good is a sanding pad it's 3000 grits and wet it down as well. It's like a sponge. It's like a fabric -y material. I'm showing it right here. When my camera comes into focus, you can see it right there. It's just a sponge. Okay, yep. Just gonna wet that down and kind of wring it out. And that would be the final one. Yeah, that's the only thing I find. It's hard to find really fine grit sandpaper in stores. And I get impatient. I don't want to order it online. I go to every auto store I can find, and that 3,000 grit was the highest I could find off the shelf. But it works really good. I don't see why would you need anything more than 3,000? And then I'm going to use this. Meguiar's for my first step of polish. It's a medium cut, just kind of abrasive, so it'll get rid of a lot of your orange peel. When I get done with that, I use this scratch and squirrel remover, which is really good. It's where the shine comes in. After you do the Meguiar's, it's kind of shiny, but once you put that scratch and squirrel on there and buff it in good, that's where it really starts to look like a mirror finish. And I'll say, I'm not gonna show you, I don't have enough time, there's storage space to sit there and just film me doing it all, but I'll show you the results that I get. Because after I get those parts done, I'm doing the body. Okay, this is after the Meguiar's. See, I do pretty much everything by hand, except for the final buffing. I just use a white, um, 100% rags. You see that white rag right there? That's a 100% cotton, and it's kind of rough, so it helps get the polishing done real good. You see, that's pretty shiny right there. That's just using the first step of polish. But you wait, it's going to get a lot more shinier than that when I get the uh, scratch and swirl remover on there. And 
see, that's looking pretty good. It's getting pretty shiny. A little bit of a mirror finish there. I was real happy with that color. Even though it didn't come out completely black, but it is darker than the body, so they look really well together. So look at that. That's after the first step of polishing, but I'm not done with it yet. And it's looking pretty good. Here's my little natural wood stained binding that I put on there. It's not really binding, it's just an effect. Makes it look like binding. And if, if y'all don't know by now, yes, my name is Glenn. All my headstocks say that. And that's one thing unique about my guitars. They all have a different logo. They all say Glenn, but they're all done in different ways. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting ready to do the body with the 3000 grit. Gonna rub it down real quick before I put the polishing on it. As everything came out good on this, except there's one spot here I'm about to show you. And this was from the factory, the wood that they used. You remember it in all my beginning videos, we were trying to get the original paint off. I was having a hard time. And once I finally got that thick plastic coating off that they had, they had notches all in the wood. It was really hard to get out. And I probably put wood filler on that one spot three or four different times, but every time I go to sand it out, it just crumble and fall off. I finally said, you know what, forget it. I'll get a sticker or something put over it. <laughs> but anyway, you can see right there how shiny it's getting, how it's looking now. That's after I wiped it down with a 3000 grit. And I'm getting ready to polish it with the Meguiar's and then this, this scratches for all removal. And now this is where I use my foam pad on my drill. But be careful, this foam can burn through your clear coat pretty pretty easy so you have to kind of stay and keep moving don't stay in one spot and this is the result after the foam pad and the scratch the swirls you'll be able to see it really shiny and almost glass like which is exactly what i wanted i'm pretty happy how this came out When I first started using the foam pad, then I used to burn through the clear coat. Make me so mad I'd have to restart pretty much all over again. But I learned not to do that. <laughs> you don't want to start over again after you come this far. I've been working on this guitar since July. My birthday. But look at that. Now that is a good looking finish right there. I'm happy with the way that came out. Also, I used the microfiber cloth to do the final. Once I did the foam pad on there, I used the microfiber cloth to do the final polishing to get all the foam marks and little residue from the polish off. And that's done. I got my parts here. There's my pit guard. A backing plate, my neck plate, and just hanging there, getting ready. Everything's ready for the final assembly, which I'll be doing this week sometime. Yay! There's my little model guitars, and there's my drum set that I welded up. <laughs> so please like, comment, and subscribe for more video content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.